Time for more grammar games! In this video, I will play Rainforest Rescue and Hidden Wonders. In Rainforest Rescue, you want to determine the difference between sentences and sentence fragments. So that's a fragment. That is a fragment. That sentence had no verb. Sentence. A fragment. Sentence! Okay, so once you get uh, enough fuel, I mean, when you answer a question, you get fuel in the uh, bottom right-hand corner. Once you get enough fuel, you can fly your helicopter around. Move your helicopter over fires to put out fires. Move the helicopters over bulldozers. Then uh, just drop the bulldozer there in the bottom right-hand corner. And you can save rainforest animals. Put rainforest animals in the safe spot in the upper right. Alrighty, so that's that's how rainforest rescue works. You you basically just fly around and save all these animals. And now that I'm out of fuel, I, I automatically land and we get to restart. So this is a sentence. The roots of the rainforest sentence. Oh, that was a fragment. Sentence. Fragments. Cool. Let's get rid of this bulldozer first. That bulldozer is a real hazard. Let's save this animal, which is right near, right near the safe spot. And finally, let's put out that fire. Looks like there's still some fire there. Okay, there, good, good, good. I got, I got the fire. Hooray, hooray! I have saved the rainforest, and that's. Basically it, let's see what level three looks like. What is level three? That's a fragment. Fragment. Looks like level three is the same thing, only more difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So level three, it basically the same thing, except we've got uh, slow, I mean faster moving bulldozers. Faster moving fires and more animals to save. Let's get that bulldozer. <laughs> Find it interesting that level three is a challenge not 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 because the grammar and the sentences are harder, but because you've just gotta play the actual game part faster. Okay, so that's Rainforest Rescue. Beautiful, thank you, monkey. Next is Hidden Wonders, the game where you proofread. So every time you correct a grammatical error, you will get a hidden item. So uh, that means a flower will appear on the screen or an animal will appear on the screen. Let's proofread. I was on a walking tour in Central Africa. When I first heard of the Bantu tribe, I stopped to a small village I stopped at a small village, at a small village, and waited, I waited, wait, wait, okay. I, hmm, well let me see, let's just press okay. So as you can see, we, we get items, we get these animals every time we correct a mistake. Let's fix these other mistakes. The forest is very bad there. Not even the Bantus, whose fields are right next to the jungle, will set foot inside. Fancy. Okay, so I was not frightened by the man's story. Deciding right then that I was going to visit Bantu, I got directions from him and said goodbye. 
I reached the village by noon the next day. They were very friendly, not was. They were very friendly and gave me a hearty welcome. However, when I told them that I planned to explore the nearby forest, they became silent and grinned. Fearing that I had offended them, I began to apologize. One of the women held up her hand to stop me. You have not offended us, she said. We just don't want to see you throw your life away so foolishly. I told them that I had been into many forests. Into many forests or in many forests? Let's go with in and could take care of myself, but this did not reassure them. They tried to talk me out of my plan the rest of the evening. Hmm. Fancy. I refused to give in. The next morning, the Bantu gathered around me as I prepared to leave. I laughed at their... Mixed up there and there. I can't believe it. There are grim faces, but as I walked away, I couldn't help but feeling a little nervous. The first part of my trek was no different from any other walk I've taken in the jungle. There were... There was an abundance of life. Was an abundance of life. And I enjoyed watching the animals playing the canopy above, but the further into the forest I went, the more I felt a certain tension in the air. This feeling grew until it was like a hostile force that was trying to push me back. Finally, I stopped in a small clearing and looked around me. The jungle had grown quiet, brooding under the blazing sun. It seemed as if the... Wow, we're getting really close to the end here. Whoa, jaguar. It seemed as if the attention of the entire forest was centered on me, hating me for my intrusion. I tried to laugh it off, but I couldn't quell the panic that was starting to rise from somewhere deep in the jungle. A long, quivering, quavering shriek. Next thing I knew, next thing I knew, I was running through the brush, certain some terrible creature was on my heels. I didn't stop until I stumbled back to the Bantu village near sobbing with relief and exhaustion. I do not know what happened in the forest that day. Maybe the fears of the natives rubbed off on me, causing me to imagine things. Or maybe there are hostile forces. I guess maybe there is a hostile force that dwells in that part of Africa. I do know that I have spent much of my life traveling in the wild parts. Wow, I think I've gotten all the animals here, and I do not scare easily. Yet nothing could induce me to visit that particular forest again. Yep. Perfect! We did it perfectly, everybody. And if you wanted to do a different level, say level 2, it, level 2 looks like they highlight the grammatical errors for you, so you get to determine, hey, is this... Is this actually an error, or is it not? So, I believe that's everything to Grammar Games. Thank you very much for watching this video walkthrough. I hope it was enjoyable, learning about grammar and the rainforest.